Hey everybody, we'll do something a little different now. We'll go ahead and look at a, a PlayStation 1 game. This is a Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn. So it's not sealed, and there's a crack in the case, if you're wondering. But it, it's not sealed, but I still want to do the unboxing and just kind of show its full contents. Some people are interested. I, I had a request to try to do some PlayStation 1 games. So if there are any other requests, let me know a specific game. I... And there's a small chance that I might have have a specific game if you request it for PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. This one, I, I, I remember, I played it a long time ago, so I don't remember much about it, but I, I do remember liking it. It was enjoyable enough. It's not your A-plus game, but you know, probably the B-range or, or whatever. So Action Adventure goes high speed. Well, let me, let's focus that a little better. As the lone NATO soldier, <laughs> soldier aboard a hijacked train. Got a notification on my phone. So as the NATO soldier aboard a hijacked chain, train, you form the thin line between peace and nuclear holocaust, life and death. So pack your gun, because where this ride stops, nobody knows. So the entire game takes place on a train. Do you see you're even on top of the train at one point? So the 3D thrill ride of your life, lose yourself in a heart-pounding action-adventure uh, that stretches across 30 different cities and 12 countries. Multiple decision, multiple outcomes, every decision becomes crucial as you change routes, engage enemies, and alter the outcome. Search, solve, and destroy. Search computers and bodies to find clues, then dispose of terrorists using 10 different military weapons. It is two discs. It's rated M. You can see the, uh, oh, it even has an ISBN number. But you've seen the barcode, too. Over here, only requires one block of memory. It's one player and even vibration compatible. Very nice. So it's got a 2,000 copyright on there. But as this was kind of saying, I, I don't remember 30 different countries and 12, or 12 countries and 30 cities. I think you're in the train the whole time, but it's, it, it controls like Resident Evil, the style it controls, but you're mostly like searching around and trying to solve puzzles, and there's definitely the action elements in there for the shooting, so I don't want to comment on its completeness, but th there could have been a card inserted or something, but to my knowledge this is complete. So there's the, the back of the disc, it's just a black back. And um, there's some artwork from the game. Pretty, pretty plain disc. And some artwork back there, an explosion, got a helicopter. Now that I'm thinking, I, and now that I see that image, I, I think there was a helicopter fight on board the train. Now let's go ahead and look at this instruction booklet. Table of contents, about 30 pages. You can see it is in black and white. Let me focus. See if it's a, try to get a little, a little clearer. So there's the original controller. It does support the dual uh, or the vibration of the Dual Shock. Nice little bonus. Image from the game. Here is the here's a registration card for it. It's for it's published by Activision. 
that's what I was saying. Sometimes these, most of the cards are in the manual, but sometimes they put cards similar to this uh, in the PlayStation case. Obviously, you can't fit much inserts in here. But as far as I know, I this is complete. And here's our characters. Usually they introduce the characters first, or earlier at least, not at the end. All in newer games, as far as I know. Philip Manson, so I don't remember any of these guys. There's the credits. Let's see here, don't... So the, the mix, let's not forget about this guy here. Uh, Kintaru. Nakagoshi, so very good job. Uh, customer support with the proof of purchase. I know this is uh, kind of a long video to go through all of this. Hey, I made notes, so there's a secret password. That's kind of funny. Usually I don't write in my manuals or anything, but a couple times I did. <clears throat> So let, let me know how you like this video. I'll, I will be doing a, a few more PlayStation 1s and PlayStation 2 and any other game systems that I own. But let me know Let me know how you like it. And definitely let me know if you have any suggestions. Just leave me a comment on this video or on my channel. Uh, stay tuned for more. And thanks for watching, everybody.